Dear Rachel, it was only just now that I learned anything about this piano that had been in storage for the last 57 years. Oh my gosh, we have everything in here. Oh my gosh, Melissa, I feel so spoiled. Hi everybody. Welcome back to our channel. Hi, Christopher. Hi, Rachel. So Christopher has been very excited because we have mail from our friend Melissa Hoover. Melissa sent Christopher, what year was it? The, the dream the house. house. So uh, 1964 was a very exciting year for Barbie because there were a couple different cardboard sets that came out that year. Um, one of which Melissa was kind enough to mail to us in a hope that it would maybe find new life or a new home a couple months ago. Yeah. And it's beautiful. And uh, I had the the pleasure of meeting Melissa. Hello, Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Um, at UFDC. At UFDC. We had coffee and, together. Uh, sat and had a whole conversation and she was, she just looked at me across the table. She's like, do you have the campus? And I said, no. <laughs> and I'm like, what's the campus? Right. The campus. 1964. If this is what I think it is, there's a box here today with us. The box is here with us in the room. <laughs> of 1964's Barbie Goes to College <laughs> campus. Let's, let's hope. Let's Otherwise hope. the right. ending of this video yeah. is going to be And a cut. <laughs> and, but we're very excited. Yeah. One thing I want to say about Melissa Hoover, she's our kind of gal because when we had coffee, she got coffee with a shot of espresso. Oh yeah. No, she understands me. My, <laughs> my veins just run with espresso. I was like, espresso. girl. Yeah. So anyway, um, she sent two boxes. One of them is for me. One of them's for you. And we're going to open them up and see what's inside. So Christopher has our gigantic scissors. I don't go anywhere without them. So many of you literally pass away every time you see us cutting stuff and doing stuff with these things. These are legendary to our shop. They have been here all 40 years. And we do it just to be ridiculous. This is, yeah. what, this is why we do it. But I don't... Oh. That was a rookie move, but but I can tell that there is popcorn underneath here, so that's why it's okay. But actually, I am going to use the box opener because you know. that, I don't know which is which, but... Insert Jeopardy theme. Uh, this okay. Is the suspense. Barbie Grand Piano by Susie Goose, an original box. This is cool, you guys. Dear Rachel, um, I'm not... Oh, she, she wrote a beautiful long letter. Wow. So I'm not gonna read the whole thing on uh. screen, but we are gonna read this. But dear Rachel, it was only just now that I learned anything about this piano that had been in storage for the last 57 years. Get it together, Melissa. I just decided to look it up on the internet and found the above listed under a previous Therials auction. My mother gave it to me for Christmas in, of course, 1964. Oh my gosh. If you know anything about me, I was just as observant, questioning, and curious child as I am an adult. Mm. She wrote a beautiful letter. Well, Barbie could not sit in it as long as she could, so she, I'm gonna read all of this, but uh, she said, at 57 years is about time it came out of storage and was properly cared for and displayed. You might have a vintage Barbie display that you can set it up in. I don't know, Christopher, well, do you, do we have? We might make room. Could we fit that into your <laughs> job description? <laughs> The Barbie piano curator. Yeah, I think I can. I think I can squeeze it in. I love it. Oh, oh this, this is, is very exciting. This is very exciting. So, um, th we're. This is so sweet, Melissa. Thank you. I sincerely hope I don't think I dumped this on you. To me, it belongs to display in your beautiful doll shop among your luxurious dolls and decor. Mm. Turn of the century antiques. It gives me comfort to think that it might be in your care for years to come. Oh my gosh. I don't want to say you can dump anything at any time here, but you you, you can just dump about could. Especially if it's Barbie stuff. Uh, a guy came to the door the other day and he was like, do you buy Barbies? And Christopher was like, did I hear my name? <laughs> <laughs> my ears are burning. Yes. Wow. Black keys. There we go. I'm gonna wedge that back up in there. So just right off the bat, I wanna show you guys the markings. It says Barbie and Midge. Register trademarks of Mattel. 1964 Mattel Inc. So Paul, see if you can get in and show them the marking. You guys can see that. But I love the beautiful Isn't it gorgeous? white piano. The matching piano bench, of course. Oh my gosh, we have everything in here. So these are the pieces that are always hard to find. You've got a portrait of Ken, of course. Oh. <laughs> you don't need to go in that, that, that close, Paul. Let's see if we can get a good, whoop, there goes Ken. See how easy it is to lose these pieces? It is. Forever, they just, they just disappear. Sheet music, hello. Oh my gosh. I love you truly. I love you truly. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's a, it's a, I, I don't know if she said in the letter if it um, still turns, but I, I imagine this still works. Yeah. 
Here. This goes up, and then you can do that. Oh, actually, I think it's just gonna sit like right. this. Right? And then we've got the candlestick and Ken. This might have to be a T B to be determined. We'll figure it out. And it might not be working too. I didn't read the whole letter. It's so pretty. And usually you don't have everything with it. Like that's very, very exciting. And the detail, like all of this is so amazing to me. I love it. Thank you, Melissa Hoover. This is so sweet. We will put this in the shop and show you pictures and we will add it to our display. So we'll just put it right here for now. Yeah, that's that's one of the, the less common and more more desirable Susie Goose pieces. Susie Goose made, you know, all kinds of things. We've shown you the bed before and the uh, armoire and the there's, there's lots of bedroom furniture, there's a vanity, there's a whole skipper set, like there's a lot. There's actually multiple beds for Barbie, but the piano is really exciting, um, especially if we can get it to, to play, that would be super, super fun. And now Christopher is going to open... Is it a pony? The second box. I see, my brand is like ridiculous and practical, that you have to have both, and I just... Me and these scissors are best friends. They are. So I'm gonna use very light pressure to puncture it through <laughs> the tape. I see my favorite part. Peanuts. <laughs> you guys. There's a letter. You guys. <laughs> I got excited. Okay. Sorry, Melissa. You don't read the. You don't have to read the whole thing because it's a personal letter. I love sweet. that she included Look the at that. images though. Like it's so nice that she printed out photos of what this is. So, my inkling was correct. This is Barbie Goes to College, 1964. Oh, Melissa, you are an angel. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to open this. I digress. Barbie, back to, back to Barbie Goes to College. Maybe when it comes time to make a video for the new dream house, you can include the campus with the sweet shop. Perfect timing. It's almost fall and time to go back to school. Thank you so much, Melissa. Already I can tell that this is a more petite set. When I was talking to Melissa at UFDC, we were both sort of joking about how absolutely behemoth the 64 new dream houses. It's huge. And I have a, a tiny little studio apartment, so when I uh, try to set it up, I have to like move furniture out of the way. It's <laughs> enormous. And this is already about maybe half that size it looks, um, which is really exciting. Oh, look how nice that color is already. This is in very pretty shape. Barbie goes to college. You go, girl. Oh, have fun. I know, right? Like, truly, I know that Barbie gets lots of flack. Maybe less so these days. Thanks, Margot Robbie. But like this, I thought was just, Barbie really was so ahead of her time in so many ways. And I just love that like this was a, a fantasy come true for so many little girls, you know? Okay, so already we've got the stadium where you can see a football game, which I've never done. I don't plan on changing that. It sounds terribly boring. Um, <laughs> And on the other side, we've got a nice, we actually still have the clasp that keeps the whole thing intact, which is super, super exciting. This one is different in that the carrying handle is on the side. So like right side up is actually sort of like, you know, not right side up. Um, but I do believe you unfold it that way. I've never seen this in person either. This is very exciting. Look at the snack bar. Okay, so spoiler alert, there's a drive-in. Part of the like campus is that she's like, there's a drive-in theater, which oh, I'm I love obsessed that. with. Part of the campus, Part gosh. Of the cam it's huge. Yeah. I mean, it's small, but it's a huge. A drive-in theater for your campus. Look at this. Oh my gosh, Melissa. I feel so spoiled. We are back and Christopher has set up this Barbie campus. What do you think? Hello. Um, this is very, very, very exciting. First of all, it's in beautiful condition. So thank you, Melissa, for such a wonderfully curated little present um, that was so very obviously cared for so much. This is beautiful. And um, I, I actually, confession, I never went to college. So this feels like uh, all of the fantasy that I was sold of, of something I didn't have. All of my friends that have gone have told me that I dodged a bullet. So like, I'll take that, uh, you know, with a grain of salt. But this feels like a storybook and the condition is gorgeous, and we're only missing like a couple little pieces. So if you want a really good idea of what you might be looking for if you were shopping for this piece, uh, you're in luck today. All right, so we're gonna take a little stroll. I'm gonna glide everyone through here, and then we'll and then we'll talk about some of the the pieces here. Oh, we have the cap and gown. Isn't Cute. this like such a fantasy? It's such a fantasy. An ice cream parlor in your college, hello, I would die. 
Look at that! Yeah, this is definitely fantasy as far as college goes, for sure. Right. Usually college looks kind of like a prison, <laughs> you know? Okay, so let's dive into the first room. So this would be the dormitory where Barbie and Midge uh, reside together. We've got a... Um, I tried with the stuff we have in the shop to keep everything uh, time period uh, specific, so... This set was a Sears exclusive from 1964, and it came out the same year as the fashion shop and as the new dream house that was 63, 64. Um, Little Theater was also 64. Um, I think the Dream Kitchen dinette was 64 or 65. They all came out pretty much at one time. And so this would be with like swirl ponytails, you would have uh, number fives and sixes, um, and they're, you know, Miss Barbie and things like that. So this is our Honey Blonde uh, shop uh, squirrel pony, and she's got her little uh, sorority meeting dress ready to change into for, uh, you know, all the important things she has to discuss with her friends, uh, Midge and other Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Midge. You know. <laughs> Two matching beds, of course, that have uh, paneling uh, up the walls. Uh, you know, uh, I love the I love the deranged floral print all over this whole room. It's amazing. The curtains match the cushions, match the bedding. It's fantastic. Um, there is Miss Barbie taking a snooze, naturally. She is the uh, sleep eye Barbie. Barbie, so when you need to uh, take a nap, she's ready to, uh, well, there you go. She's ready to go with you. She's marvelous. We've got actually some huge closets in here. These are so much deeper usually than any of the carrying cases or even the other sort of closets for Barbie structures. It's There's a lot of storage in here. Um, you've got a little dressing vanity, of course, with some accessories, right? She's ready to dress up for, for a night on the town, uh, out with friends, out for the, the school dance. And then you've got Midge here in what I always thought was an M for Midge, <laughs> and it didn't occur to me till later that it's an M for Mattel. But uh, she's uh, ready to, to cheer with her uh, pom-poms. I love this. Such a silly outfit. A little studious uh, desk here with some accessories. Uh, you know, as you collect Barbie over the years, maybe you got, maybe you were, you were blessed to have many sets as a child. You get all of these little accessories along the way that when you get a, you know, a play space like this, suddenly it all comes together and makes sense. You can use things like your how to knit book or your um, nursing glasses um, and your alarm clock and your balls of yarn to make it feel like she is right at home. You did a great job accessorizing this. It looks so good. Thanks. It feels very lived in already. Well, and and on that note, there are still some things that this, as it would come, is missing. So I want to note, um, if you were shopping for this piece and you want to ensure that you're looking for a complete set, this would normally come with a big golden rug. It's a cardboard rug. Um, I believe in total there are eight pillows, and we only have about half of them. But everything else, I think, for this room is here. You're looking for the uh, the lamp, which is two pieces, but it connects to the uh, side table there. And then the cushions in these chairs, um, we found them, but they, they do kind of come out here. So, um, you know, lots of little pieces that, you know, unless you're careful, you very well may just simply overlook. But more or less, this is this is phenomenal shape and, uh, and just about complete. I and love then it. we've got... I love this this little hallway detail. All of the graphics, I don't know if you can see up in here, is so beautiful. Like, the, the way that they're illustrated is just gorgeous. Um, there's actually a cute little vignette of what looks to be Barbie and Ken taking a stroll out on campus. Cute. Isn't that precious? Precious. And then, like we uh, saw earlier, the uh, the campus sweet shop uh, advertises the uh, Sleeping Beauty uh, show later in the drive-in. Um, and then, of course, the campus shop. I just love how it's so romantic, right? Like, the, nothing in real life looks like this, not even Disneyland. And, like, this is just so... Uh, Melissa said in her letter that, you know, these toys reminded her of, of a simpler time. Not that um, she had a, a delusion of the understanding of the timeline this existed in, but that it maybe made everything feel softer and sweeter, despite those things. And I think this is a great example of that. It just feels so playful and so pretty to look at. How can you not feel like light and excited to look at it? Moving into our sweet shop, the like ice cream parlor soda shop, you get a little bit of everything in here. You've got a, a, a mixer and um, for, for like ice cream milkshakes and things. There's a really gorgeous little telephone booth back here with a real well, not a real telephone, but a, a telephone that sort of comes out from the wall there. It's such a funny, wonderful little 
detail because I, <laughs> you know, I've seen telephone booths like in London, but telephones aren't things that we have in the same way that, you know, you did in 64. Um, this is such a fun relic to me. You've got some bar stools and a, uh, a serving bar for whoever is working the uh, diner shift uh, after class. This is a, a little, a really cute little seating placement for, you know. How cute! Isn't that gorgeous? That's so cute. Now this, I think we're missing three or four of these. I think there are four total, but there might be five. But that really is all this set doesn't have. It's a simpler one, but the details, whoa, are all a little bit smaller. Um, so something like this is, is easy to lose. I love the sundae and the I hamburger know. and the shake and then the campus special right there. Look at that Ken just grinning from ear to Let's ear. Let's see if we can get in. How cute. I think that's the sweetest Ken illustration I've ever seen. It's so sweet. Yeah. The state banner, of course. We've got um, all of your your favorite ensembles, at least at least some of them, I hope. <laughs> um, Barbie ready to uh, to lead the parade, and um, you've got Midge serving up in Friday Night Date. I think that's Campus Hero on Alan over there, and you've got Ken ready to take Barbie out to the uh, the drive-in theater, which she is in by herself, by the way. This is her car. Ken, <laughs> Ken is an afterthought, just for the record. Um, this is her Austin Healy, and uh, she's ready to go see her own performance with um, with Ken. I just, I cannot get over the illustrations in this set. The way that the light is painted is just like, it's so breathtaking. Yeah. The rich jewel tone colors are still really vibrant. This hasn't really faded, like, at all. As you might imagine, it has some wear and tear being 60 plus year old cardboard. But with that in mind, I just, I think this is so breathtaking. So, so beautiful. This is really fun. I really enjoyed seeing this. I know everyone online enjoyed seeing this and we really want to thank Melissa Hoover for sending this wonderful Barbie campus. It's a dream. My gosh. Every day I come to work and I pinch myself because there's something ridiculous that happens and um, Oh, there's never, never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. Once in a while we'll have these like calm days where we just, nothing right. crazy happens. Right. That was a nice six minutes. Yeah. Rarely. Right, yeah. No, Melissa Hoover, your generosity yes, so sweet. is endless. Um, it was so, so nice to meet you, and um, just like you said in your letter, I'm one of the few crazy Barbie fans that is, you know, as young as I am, and I can't tell you what this means to me, just to, to know you and be able to sit and talk and have coffee, um, but then to, you know, receive such a, a fantastical, marvelous, splendid uh, surprise, so yeah. thank you. I, I, I want to just take a moment, too, because we do receive a tremendous amount of wonderful support and gifts and cards. We obviously can't always put everything online but we appreciate it so very much all of you are just so wonderful we truly I mean it really touches our hearts especially when we were at U of DC uh. and got to see everybody so many of you have been following my journey for years years and years and years and so we just love and appreciate you so much and yeah. our favorite thing is just sharing the love of dolls True. and doll collecting I'm still reeling from how um, unexpected, some some of the kind and, and wonderful things that people said and did at my very first UFTC. So thank you for, for inviting me in so warmly. And uh, none of this, not, you know, none of my job or anything would really be possible without um, without you guys. So yep. thank you. We appreciate it so much. And we'll give another meander here. I want to go take this a nap. so before. fun. I know. I just think, like, this is... This is the color scheme I want my life to be. It's just like warm marigold and a, a busy print. <laughs> I love it. We hope all of our friends out there enjoyed watching. And of course we will be back with lots more Dolly content in the future. We've got some, As always. some new exciting Barbie content to bring you too. We, we still have yet to give a, a proper, you know, give the new dream house her roses. She, she needs that spotlight. So we'll be doing that video. More things are coming. At some point. Yes. All right. Thanks everybody. Bye.